This is a GMAT problem solving practice question. I'll classify this question as a 600 to 650 level practice question. From the topic rates, speed, distance, time, focuses on the concept of relative speed races. A runs 25% faster than B and is able to allow B a lead of 7 meters to end a race in dead heat. Which means if A allows B, A starts at the starting point, he allows B a 7 meter lead, then they finish the race together. That's what it means. What we need to find out is the length of the race. That's what we have to compute. Two key data given to us. Let's start with the first one. It says A runs 25% faster than B, which essentially means that if B runs 100 meters in a given time, A will run 125 meters in the same time. That's what running 25% faster than B essentially means. Let's bring it to its least form. Both these numbers are divisible by 25. Divide both by 25. So when B runs 4 meters, A will run 5 meters. So the ratio of the speeds, ratio of the distance covered by them in a given time is in the ratio of 4 is to 5 for B and A. So when B runs 100, A runs 125 or when A runs 5, B runs 4 meters. Let's take this ratio as the starting point for us having decoded this information. So A runs 5 meters, B runs 4 meters. So if A and B were to run a race of length, let's say the length of the race is equal to 5 meters. Take this, this is the length of the race, this is equal to 5 meters. When A completes 5 meters, he will find B having covered only 4 meters. If A and B will have to finish the race together, then essentially A has to swap this distance with B in terms of a lead. So if A were to start here and he allows B to start 1 meter ahead of him, then when they reach the 5 meter point, A would have run 5 meters, B would have run 4 meters, they would have finished the race together. So the length of the race is 5 meters and A runs 5 meters, B manages to run only 4 meters at that point in time. The lead that A has to give so that they finish the race together is actually 1 meter. A covers 5, B covers 4, he lets him start 1 meter ahead, they finish the race together. Now this proportion will be maintained. We saw it happening here, we'll just look at it one, one other time. If the length of the race is 50 meters, then obviously A being the faster one is going to run all 50 meters. The ratio of their speeds is 5 is to 4. So B will manage only 40 meters in that same time. So lead that A should give B should be equal to 10 meters. So this proportion is maintained. So the length of the race is 50 meters, lead given is 10 meters. Lead given is 10 meters, length of the race is 50 meters. What do we know about the lead given in this question? The lead given is 7 meters. The lead to race length is in the ratio of 1 is to 5. So length of the race therefore is going to be equal to 35 meters. Quickly summarize this discussion in a printed form in the next slide. We know that the ratio of their speeds is 5 is to 4, A is to B. So if the race length is 5 meters, A can allow B to start 1 meter before the starting point. Because A can run all 5 meters, B runs at the same time only 4 meters. So if he lets him start 1 meter ahead, they will finish the race together. Which essentially boils down to the fact that the ratio between the start given, which is 1 meter, to the length of the race is 1 is to 5. Start given is mentioned as 7 meters in this question. Therefore, the length of the race is going to be 5 times 7, which is equal to 35 meters. Choice E is the correct answer to the question. These questions are actually very straightforward ratio proportion question. It's how you look at it and if you can interpret this data very well, it should take you probably 30-40 seconds to crack a question of this kind. Before you leave, two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core. It's one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages. Build momentum to your GMAT preparation. Subsequently, pay up and unlock the remaining topics. Lastly, subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash bizako and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for GMAT. You may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member-only perks that come with it and will help you boost your GMAT preparation.